Hello everyone, this is the MGTOW Cowboy. Greetings and salutations. This evening I want to talk to you guys about uh, a concept I was thinking about uh, on the ride home. Or that is to say I was thinking about it on and off all day. And uh, on, the, on the ride home I decided I want to make a quick video talking about it. And that is the uh, concept that I think that uh, I think that men are starved of attention, uh, starved of affection, if you will, um, and that it's not uh, it's not like a uh, it's not a mistake. It's on purpose, and in fact, it's actually uh, it's it's rather calculated by uh, by women. Um, in fact, really, you could you could build this case, you could build this idea, and say uh, society. Um, I think that, the, again, the way our entire uh, society is formatted uh, tries to teach us the idea that, you know, the man has to work for the female's, uh, um, you know, the female's acceptance and affirmation. And, of course, you know, how he does that is he uh, engages in uh, with the, the, the chief way, the primary way, is that he's supposed to engage in, uh, in uh, economic activity to get money so that he can transfer that money uh, to the woman, and so that the woman gives him a love or affection or sex or whatever. And, uh, you know, I just think it's, uh, I think it's terrible. You know, I, I think it's terrible. It, it bothers me. I wish it wasn't this way. Uh, but it is. But it is. And what's worse is I think, um, uh, what's worse is that I think that even when a man gets to a point where he is finally earning some some serious coin um even though he's making money um that that affirmation that love that acceptance that uh what's the word in spanish cariño uh what's that word in, in english uh, affection affection that affection that he gets from the woman it's not it's not real it's not real. It's all just based. It's all just you know. It's just, it's just it's all based on this like dollar transaction. He gives cash, she gives some booty, and um, you know I'm I'm at this idea that um, I'm sort of at this idea that the man, the man has to rise above this as hard as it is. As hard as it seems, the man has to rise above this. And I know that this is hard because, you know, I claim to be very well versed in understanding the, uh, the, the, you know, the dynamic between the man and the woman. Essentially, I understand how I'm being played. I think most men don't even understand. And even for me, it's hard. And, um, you know, so I just think... Hmm. You know what a conundrum. How how do I get myself out of this? I don't think there is get. I don't think there is any getting out of it. I just think uh, I have settled in. Or at least I think. I don't know the way. The way I think is constantly evolving. Um. But right now I'm at a point where I think that as terrible as this sounds, it's almost like men need to become sociopathic. Men need to become. Um, yeah, I don't, I don't know what else, I don't know what other word to use. That men need to become, men need to learn how to consciously turn off their empathy towards women. Essentially, not care for women and to care for themselves. Even though the women, of course, when they notice this, they, they don't like this and they, uh, what do they do? They, uh, they complain. They complain and they tantrum against this. Uh, but this really is the best way to get ahead. Um, financially, and it's also the best way to, how can I put it, to um, preserve yourself, to um, to defend your, to defend yourself, to yeah, to uh, um, to avoid, you know, uh, to, uh, to avoid allowing women in so that they can hurt you emotionally. Uh, it's almost like you have to shut yourself out. You need to become a sh what's what's the term a shut in. You need to become a shut in. And I also think that women. Um, I think it's probably their, I think it's their nature to sort of act this way, to sort, to try to uh, manipulate the man, turning, turning affection on and off. I think they do it on purpose. 
And uh, but but it's worse than that. I think they, I think it's so much worse than that. I think that women train each other. I, th- I literally, like I literally, I, I imagine like a um, a mother uh, sitting in the car with her with her daughter, with her you know uh, whatever ten year old daughter on the way to soccer practice or something. You know, and I conjure up you know the mother saying, "Listen, this is how you do it." All right, you, you know, it's almost like a, almost like an angler, like a, like an expert fisherman, you know, teaching a, a, a young boy how to fish. You know, first you cast it out, and then you reel it in slowly, and then you know, when it when when you know you got him on the hook, you 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 uh, what's it called? You you yank on the uh, you yank on the rod, and you make sure that that hook sets in. Uh, so I, and the point I'm trying, I'm, like, I'm sorry, the point I'm trying to make is I, I think it's I think it's deliberate. It's deliberate, and. Um, when you see through it, when you see through it, women hate that. Oh my God, they hate it. They hate it with a passion. And um, but what's even worse, of course, is you know we in MGTOW, we don't we don't we don't just we, we don't just study this as a science. We 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 seek to disseminate this information far and wide. When when you see it, they hate it. But even worse, when when you try to sound the alarm and tell other men, oh my God, they hate it. They they hate it even more. You you become persona non grata. You become public enemy number one. And I just see it everywhere. I just see it everywhere. Also, I wanted to mention today. Uh, I was at work and we we were uh, we were a little a little busy. Um, I mean it was steady. It was steady, but it was like on the busy side of steady. And um, but I was able to catch this one. Uh, I was able to catch this one uh, advertisement on television. And uh, the background music was. Um, you guys remember that song by Jay Z? Was it like all I need in my life is something, something, is me and my girlfriend, me and my girlfriend, and then and then whatever Beyonce or some 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 black bimbo bitch is like all I need is all I need is me and my boyfriend, me and my boyfriend. You guys remember that song, Jay Z and whoever that bitch was. Oh, anyway, uh, that song was on, and it was showing like this montage of like. Of old couples, or particularly old couples, and um, it was just showing them, you know, oh, you know, so living this like posh lifestyle and traveling and having this adventurous, uh, you know, uh, I don't know, having this uh, adventurous posh lifestyle, and uh, I don't know. I thought to myself, you know, that's so weird. Why am I? Oh, and I'm sorry. I should have mentioned this was like on, this is a kind of sports channel. I think it was. Uh, I don't know Real Madrid, some Real Madrid. So I, I don't watch soccer, but I, I work with some Europeans, and they like soccer. And Real Madrid won. And anyway, so it was like a sports channel. And I just found that funny. I, I saw that, and I'm saying to myself, "This is like propaganda." Why? I, I didn't even. I couldn't even figure out what they were trying to sell. I don't. Even, I don't even know that they were. I, I don't. I can't. I couldn't even tell what they were trying to sell. Sandals or you know, cruise ship or something. I couldn't even. But the point is, um, yeah, I remember seeing that. I'm just thinking to myself, so they're putting on television now propaganda. But purposely, they're purposely putting on propaganda on the television, telling people to get to get to couple up and get together. Cause that is that what that is? I think that's what that is. And um, yeah, I don't know. I think men are just not having it. So I wanted to talk about that.